a quick insight and overview to Thacker's as a restaurant. Well, um, it's changed massively over the past 13 years, just like the food culture has within this country. I look back at the first day I opened here and look at a menu and it's kind of like going back in time because we've evolved the food so much um, to ensure that it fits in with what the customers are looking for the modern approach to cooking, but also what people are looking for when they come out to eat. And it's not just the food now. Many years ago, it was very, very much solely all about what was on the plate. People now come for the experience, so we've had to ensure we move with those times, the wine list moves with the times, the ambiance, the decor, the staff training, and everything. So we do try and give the, the whole package here. Um, my relationship with the Brakes Group um, has been one for many, many years. Uh, I mean, I've, I've used Wild Harvest um, since my London days, so we were going about 15, 16 years ago, um, and their quality was fantastic. Um, and then over the, the sort of years that have sort of come from there, um, the, the meat supplies that they've got, they, they, what, I, what I like is their provenance. Yeah, and they're very um, adamant that it's all red tractor approved meat suppliers. Um, M and J Seafoods, um, they're, they're, they're the scallops, the salmon, the, the fish at the high end um, are very, very good, and we've got a good relationship with the, the sort of the direct sales managers. So we'll phone them up, request the ingredients we're looking for, give them, you know, maybe a little bit of notice if it's a little bit off piece, um, and they're they're all excited about getting something a bit different, and the quality that comes to the door is second to none. We are using Bates Group across all of the businesses in some aspects. Across all the sites, um, we're probably touching each one of their suppliers and one, one of their sort of companies. Um, so what does the future hold for me? I mean, yeah, I guess when you say sort of that I have been around here for 13 years, I've been in the business 25 years now. Um, it makes me feel, um, <laughs> sound very, very old. What does the future hold? Keep enjoying it. Um, all the time I'm, I'm enjoying it, um, I will keep doing it. Um, and, and, and try and get that enjoyment and that passion through into, into my staff. Um, I mean, I, when I say staff, they're, you know, I call them, they're more team members. You know, we work all together as a team. Um, it's not about me, it's not about any individual. Um, we all make each site what it is, um, from sort of the top right the way down. Would I look at another site? Um, yes, um, but I think you've got to be very careful not to stretch yourself too thin. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a control freak, but I'd really like to be able to get to each site. Um, and a drop of a hat, whether that be to help out, whether that just to be sit down with the manager or the chef and have a meeting, um, or just go and have a cup of coffee after service and just make sure that it's been a good day. Um, would, I wouldn't want to be traveling two or three hours and potentially lose that sort of touchy-feely aspect of what this industry is about. You can't run a site from behind a computer. You've got to be in it. So um, there might be another site on the horizon for, for 2014. Um, but I think right here, right now, this uh, the food culture of Kent, of the UK, is in a very, very strong position. Um, we've just, we're coming out of a recession. Um, I think hopefully people might come out a little bit more. Um, and we can hopefully wow our customers more and give them a, a, as good an experience, if not better, than we've given them over the past years.